Hello, my name is John Joseph Keogh. I'm a resident at the moment of New York City, and I've lived here since September 29th, 2011. Now, I have a article here from physiciansforhumanrights.org, and it states, torture and other cruel, inhumane, and de or degrading treatment and punishment are absolutely prohibited without exception and in all circumstances under international law and U.S. federal law, including the Constitution. Um, I could go on with that, but I'll just say I'm tired of ha having my... Um, having my brain uh, activity, having my brain's activity monitored and having things done to me based on the knowledge that they get from my, my uh, brain, my brain's activity, my cognition. And uh, I'm tired of sharing my cognition with these people. And I'm tired of sharing my space that I occupy, be it a cafe, an apartment that I'm renting and paying rent for. I'm tired of sharing these spaces with people who are assigned roles to disturb me and do cruel and inhumane uh, abuses. Okay, so I'm just looking at the time. And... Uh, these people have uh, used in, in their efforts to uh, degrade my me they have used uh, prostitution they have utilized uh, narcotics they have secretly thrown narcotics into my drink on numerous more than numerous occasions in mainland China and in here, here, and I have never had that happen to me prior to this taking off in my life uh, shortly after my father died and going into China, they had set things up in 2003, September, and that, and by 2005, they were ready to gobble me up and pervasively take my life away and of, of freedom and make my life part of their operation if you want to call it that but I, I'm tired I have no recourse I have no recourse for anything that I've done if you google my name John Joseph Keo mainland uh, China uh, Taiwan London you'll and Gambia you'll see and Binghamton, New York, any of those, you'll see what they've, some of uh, what they've done. And I've not had any recourse of any sort. Uh, and I cannot have, I have, I'm unable to have uh, protection from these people who rip my boots, uh, used to rip my clothing for years in Binghamton, New York, put me at poverty level, made me accentuated the uh, status of being at poverty level in a number of ways that I could more than happy share with anybody and all while abusing me at the same time I have signals sent into my flesh it's sometimes like electric low-level electrocution disturbing my thoughts disturbing when I'm thinking reading uh, in, engaged on the internet I'm looking at the time they intently they, I don't want to 